Mary, you know what one of my all-time favorite breakfast foods is? What? Blueberry muffins. And we have a beer that's going to try and mimic it today on Brewbritchers. We have Marceline Muffin. It's a blonde ale with blueberry and lactose from Bottle Logic Brewing today. Great can, great artwork. Um, we're big fans of Bottle Logic. Actually, you say you prefer them over Green Cheek, which is mm -hmm. another uh, channel mm -hmm. favorite. Mm -hmm. um, what makes you prefer Bottle Logic over Green Cheek really quickly? I think that they are more creative with their stuff and they have better sours. I would say they have a better variety on average yeah. than uh, Green Cheek does. Green Cheek does a lot of hazy IPAs, West Coast IPAs. Um, Bottle Logic has a little bit of everything, a little bit of sours, um, some smoothie stuff. Mm -hmm. They have, they're known for their stouts, as you all know on the channel here. They have ales, they've got a, a little bit of everything. And so I think that's why you prefer them, mm -hmm. generally. Um, for me, Green Cheek hits it out of the ballpark when it comes to hazy IPAs. And that really has a, a soft, spot for me for them. I'm just a sucker for nerds, apparently. Yeah. And the people at Bottle Logic are nerds in the best way possible. Yeah, and it's a beautiful can. I'm sure you see it rolling right now. It is, I just love the artwork they come up with over yeah, there. Yeah, it's cool. Um, this is, let's see here, 8.5% alcohol. Uh, that seems like a lot for a blonde ale, to be honest. I yeah. feel like blonde ales, I think of like maybe four or 5%. Yeah. Um, it's got lactose in it, so if you're lactose intolerant, Take a lactase before you drink this beer. Um, it's got blueberry, so if you're a blueberry head, this one hopefully is gonna be for you. Um, but yeah, that's enough talking. Let's get to drinking. All right. I feel like I always say all right. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Bottle Logic's really, they're, you guys are giving us every little bit here in these cans lately. I was not expecting it to be that color. I know that it's blueberry and I get that, but I, yeah, I expected a lighter yeah. red color. This is uh, almost a caramel mm -hmm. red, it seems mm -hmm. like. Um, I did not expect that color as, a, as well. Why do they put lactose in beer? Um, generally, they put lactose in beer to make it sweeter. Um, mm -hmm. You don't put regular sugar in, uh, aka glucose, in beer because the bacteria is going to eat it and ferment it even more. Oh. And lactose is something that the yeast don't ferment. That's interesting. So yeah. when they put lactose in beer, they have to say, I mean, I feel like they should say, hey, we're putting lactose in here because maybe right. for lactose intolerant people. Yeah. Most of the time okay. they will tell you there's lactose in this yeah. beer because most people, a lot of people are lactose intolerant. Yeah. Um, so it's just kind of a, a disclaimer for them. That's good. Yeah. Taking this to the nose. Oh, yeah. Blueberry. That's, blueberry that's, muffin. That's, that's it's like blueberry exactly. Blueberry muffin. I mean, if we're rating it just on, yeah. on smell, that smells really good. Yeah, it does smell really good. I am a sucker for blueberry muffins, blueberry anything. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. Do you like the big blueberry muffins with like the big crystal sugar on them? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. And it always makes me think back to the scene in, oh no, I'm forgetting the movie. Oh well. I remember the first movie I watched. Oh no. Oh! Casino. There's a scene in the movie Casino. Um, this guy's uh, the, the pit boss or the, the manager of the casino. He, he's also part of the mob. Spoilers. Uh, he's looking at his muffin. He's looking at the other guy's muffin he's eating with and he goes, how come your muffin has so many more blueberries than mine? He's like, I don't know. And since he's the manager, he goes into the kitchen, talks to the guy and he's like, you need to put the exact same amount of blueberries in each muffin. He's like, you know how much longer? He's like, I don't care. Because <laughs> if you've ever had a blueberry muffin where you get very few blueberries, yeah, I feel that pain. Yeah, I feel cheated. All right, let's see if we feel cheated drinking this beer. Oh, what? It's a blonde ale base. So I'm getting a little bit of that blonde ale in there in the beginning, but it does finish with blueberry. It does? For me it does, I get the blueberry sweetness. I'm getting no blueberry ever whatsoever. If I had a blind taste test, I would say no blueberry whatsoever. Really? It tastes like a blonde ale. It's a very good blonde ale. I really like this, like it's tasty. They have their 714 blonde ale, mm -hmm. which I might be the base for this, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But this, 
is kind of like that in the beginning, but it definitely has a sweetness to it from the lactose and then definitely has blueberry in it, I'm getting. I'm, I, I can taste the sweetness, but I, I'm not getting any blueberry at all. It smells like a blueberry muffin, but it doesn't taste like <sighs> one. Okay, let me chew it, hold on. Now it's time for the Mary Chew. Mm. Really nothing? No blueberry. Oh no, your taste buds are broken. I know what blueberry tastes like. I love blueberry everything. Where are you getting? <laughs> you said blueberry at, at the, the end, end? At the end. Okay, hold on. Hold on one, one more time, one more time. I'm trying, I'm struggling. Bottle logic, no bottling dates or canning dates on these things. Come on. If you've been in business long enough, you should know you should put a canning date on these things. Um, just a pet peeve of mine, I like to know when my beers have been canned, that way you know how old it is. So if you know a beer is a month old, two months old, you can kind of determine, well, this, you know, it's sat around a bit, that's why it's losing this flavor, but nothing I, yet? No, and I, it is a little sweet, I can see where the lactose comes in, but I'm not getting any blueberry, it just tastes like a good blonde well I'll tell you what let's sip on a little while longer and then we'll come back with our final thoughts and welcome back Mary has yet to find the blueberry in this muffin so it seems like we gotta go talk to the chef and have him add a few more but um, what would you rate this beer out of five then I mean it's a good blonde ale it's a little sweet and I like that in beer I don't want to I don't want a heavy beer. I'm not a sweets person, but I like a sweeter beer because I don't want to feel heavy in my stomach. I don't, right. I don't like that. Um, I don't get any blueberry. I was hoping for a blueberry muffin. Um, maybe like a 3.74? 5. I'm just kidding. 5. 3.75. <laughs> wow, 3.75. That's honestly higher than I thought you were going to give it. I mean, I like the taste of it. It's a good beer. I would buy it again for sure, but I'm not buying it for the blueberry muffin, which sounds crazy because it's called Marceline Blueberry Muffin. Right. But it's a good, it's a good blonde ale, and I like blonde ales. I mean, that's that's good enough reason. I agree. I would go back to this beer again. It's got great color to it. It's got great flavor. I find the blueberry in it, so honestly, I I think it's it's pretty good. But I would give it a three point five. It's not as good as it could be. The blueberry could pack a little bit more punch. As evident here, she can't even find the blueberry. So I, that means to me it's lacking. Um, blueberry is one of those flavors that does tend to be more subtle, more hidden, and mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure if it has to do with these blueberries were in season, these blueberries were not in season. Um, but here we are. Uh, I'm gonna go 3.5, 3.75, and you actually came out uh, giving it a higher grade this time. I mean, yeah, I like the taste, so it's it's pretty good. I like it. When I first started drinking beer, I would only drink blondes because I don't want a heavy beer, but right. I think I was just going too hard, you know? Yeah, <laughs> and I mean, as a blonde ale, this is really, really tasty. Um, I recommend you try it out. And thanks for joining us. That does it for today's beer review. Like, share, subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Untapped. Click the bell icon if you want to be notified when we upload new videos. And until next time, we're the Brimbachers, trying every beer from around the world. One, One sip, sip at, at a time. time. Yeah. Saving the Republic. One step at a time. Palpatine? Ugh. Chancellor Palpatine's a hero, babe. I really am convinced that he is Darth Sidious. It could be. I mean, I know that you know that he isn't, but as a new person watching it, yeah, you've never seen Darth Sidious' face yet. That's true. You haven't seen it yet. And Palpatine is gross and weird. <laughs> He's gross and weird. He's so weird. He wanted He's to doing kill the best to save the Republic. But why did he want to kill that dragon like that? Because he wanted to use its armor and its blood to save the Republic. Yeah, but when you have like a milking cow, you don't kill, or like a, like a cow for beef, you don't kill it. You wait until it has babies and then you kill those babies for beef. You know a lot about that. Yeah. <laughs>